Hey guys, welcome back to the Weekly Roundup. I'm Spoose. We're going to talk about the things that happened last week. Just a reminder, if you guys have Twitch Prime, there are new rewards available that you can claim. Just go to twitch.com. There is a Relic Report Chest, a Crystalline Aura, and some Amethyst Shards that you can claim. So last week, they implemented a Report Bug fix, right? And for those who don't know, there was an exploit that you could bug the report system and get 12 more extra report attempts. So they fixed that, it no longer works, but the Amazonians did release a roadmap for what's gonna come in the next month. With the roadmap, they announced that Vaulton is coming, okay? And Vaulton's gonna be available for item level 1415 normal mode and 1445 hard mode. And so what I'm doing to prepare for Vaulton is I'm turning a lot of my gold into payons because when you buy accessories from the auction house, they cost payons. Supposedly the new relic accessories they're gonna get from Bolton, people are saying that the, the relic accessories are gonna be between 25 and 35 payons each. So if you wanna prepare like me, okay, stock up on the payons now while the crystals are relatively cheap. So in addition to Bolton, we're also getting the Descaluda Guardian Raid and a new 1415 Chaos uh, Dungeon. Okay, so what a lot of people are doing to prepare for when Bolton releases, which is expected to be on the 19th, is that they're gonna save up their Guardian and chaos raids five days prior so if it drops on the 19th from the 14th and onward they were not going to do their chaos dungeons and their guardian dungeons that way they can stock up their rest bonus and when it finally drops they can get double the loot for each attempt okay so another thing that they're doing in addition to saving up the rest bonus is that they're holding on to this aura of resonance recovery elixir so what this does is that it lets you do the chaos dungeon two times more and get rewards so if you really want to maximize the day of, uh, you could use this, get double the loot, and maybe make some good money from, from that strategy. So also the Destroyer has been confirmed to be releasing this month. People think it's gonna be on the, on the 19th. Um, so uh, the same thing with that. If you think it's gonna drop on the 19th and you really wanna play Destroyer, uh, a good heads up is to make the Warrior now go through the character selection and then don't pick your advanced class okay just get to this point end the test uh but don't pick your class just leave okay that way you'll be able to let your rest bonus stack up and when the destroyer drops you're gonna get double loot for every guardian and chaos dungeon that you do up until you until you run out of res bonuses right okay so that's something you can do if you want to get ready for when the destroyer comes out Okay, so now is the less important things that you really can't prepare for. It's just nice to know that we're getting more content. Okay, so the other things that were announced is that they're going to expand the Southburn uh, content that they have, uh, which means we're going to get a new field boss, Thunder Wings. Um, they're going to add the hard mode to the Southburn dungeon that is available at 1415. In addition to that, there's going to be another ghost ship that is higher than the 1371 that we currently have. Okay, they also announced a Chicken Island event. We'll see what that is when it comes out. But the thing I'm super excited for are the new guild events. There's an island PvP event and raid matches. And raid matches is what I'm excited for. So from what I gather, the guilds are gonna compete against each other in completing a dungeon. And the faster that you complete a dungeon, the higher you will be in the, in the leaderboards. So if you're not in a guild, now's the time to go looking for a guild, okay? And next they announced Nereus Shop, right? Which is like casual streetwear type uh, skins for the game and some people say they kind of land. I think they're cool I just want to see what kind of combos I can make and I'm pretty sure people are Excited just to have some more variety in the game. Okay. They also announced some quality of life updates uh, ooh, Okay Okay, so now one of the things I'm most excited for is some of the quality of life changes that they're gonna bring in uh, Supposedly we're finally gonna get the front and back indicators, which I've been super stoked to get I can't stress how much I really need that thing and I need it as soon as possible they're going to update the game menu so you can see on your right hand side um, a checklist with your dailies and weeklies and it just helps you manage all your alt characters a lot easier. Also last week I mentioned that when we got the destroyer we we're going to get the revamped version of him. We we're going to get him with the buffs and not the outdated version of the destroyer. So they mentioned that in this announcement okay, we're going to get the balance changes that they made in Korea but they didn't elaborate too much on the details. Um, for the most part I know that Surge Okay, for the most part, all I know is that Surge Deathblade got nerfed in Korea. Uh, the Scrapper got buffed. Uh, there were a couple changes to Berserker. They didn't really elaborate too much on what changes were coming. 
but they said that when those changes are come they're going to release those on separate notes for those who are interested and i'll be sure to cover that uh, when they come out guys but that's it for this week i hope that you're all caught up before the reset and let me know what you guys are doing in the last week leading up to Vaulton. are you guys making more alts are you guys boosting your also 1370 are you creating a destroyer and waiting for it to come out uh just let me know leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time